Welcome, everybody! New York, on Saturday, July 16th, WWE returns to the world's most famous arena with WWE Live. Experience the hype with all your favorite superstars, including John Cena Live. You want some? Come get some! It's the WWE Live SummerSlam Heatwave Tour in New York, Saturday, July 16th. Tickets and VIP packages are available. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Mike Mazurki loved this world. 
And my father will love this world. And on my father's gravestone it said, Do not stand at my grave and cry, I am not here, I did not die. And by God, that's the truth. It's the truth about my father. It's the truth about Mike Mazurki. It's the truth about Lou Thanos. It's the truth about so many of us individuals. Because they didn't die. We're going on. We're going on right here tonight, and we can't let it stop. We can never let it stop. This is a wonderful, wonderful gathering. It's more than just a gathering. It's a blood gathering. We all have the same love. A love for a crazy, excuse me, but goddamn insane business. <laughs> wonderful fraternity. It's a great fraternity. I want to read something to you here. If I can damn well find it. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I got bad eyes too. I used to not. But I'm wearing these for a real reason. <laughs> and it says, uh, I'm going to read it to you. Because I thought I was pretty good here. And I'll, I'll tell you what. Scott Williams, the author of this, did a great job. But I wrote this little part, and it's the only little part I wrote, so I'm real proud of it. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> okay, it says right here in the front of my book, and pretty much summarizes my life and my profession in about two or three paragraphs. And here it is. I dedicate this book to the wrestlers that have never worked the main event in Madison Square Gardens, or anywhere for that matter. I dedicate this book to the wrestlers who perform in small town USA. The one who know their night's pay won't even cover their transportation costs. I dedicate this book to the guys that have spent themselves totally for what they consider noble causes, their fans and their families. I dedicate this book to the guys whose special brand of valor shows in their blood and sweat. I dedicate this book to the wrestlers who have tried valiantly even though they come up short again and again. In other words, I dedicate this book to the jobbers, the wrestlers who have put their shoulders to the mat purposely, selflessly to enhance other wrestlers in a fan's eyes. They do what they do in the unselfish hope of, a, of improving attendance in the weeks to come. They were and are the unsung heroes of my profession. The book is also written for my world as a small world, and I like it that way. It consists of the ones I love so dearly, my mom, Dorothy, my daughter, Stacy, and Brandy, my daughter's families, Kelly, Jason, David, and Champ. And this book is for the one true love I have in this world, and that's my wife. And gosh darn, that's not bad. Let me see if I can find my next page of notes here. 
Where they go? My gosh, maybe they're on the front. No, they're not on the front. I dropped them. I'm, I'm fixing them. God Almighty, I'm glad you find them. I would never find them. You people would get out of here. Hey, hey! You people would have got out of here early. Who pushed me by? Yeah, is that, does that mean I'm supposed to get off? You people want to hear me or you want to get off? doing better than that to start with. All right. All right, I got just a few other people I want to go ahead and say thank you. And I'll get my butt back down from here. I want to say thank you to Red Fastine. I want to say thank you to Carl Waller. I want to say thank you to Nick Bockwinkle. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I want to say thank you to the girls. I really mean this. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but I want to thank Penny Banner. I want to thank Kay Noble. I want to thank uh, Marie LeBarn. I want to thank all you girls through the years because a lot of times you're forgotten about. And hell, you went out there every night and busted your butts. So I'll tell you that for sure. And I want to go ahead and say a few things. I want, I want to talk a few all fast to them. I'm running 40, 40 years by here very fast. I want to thank Jack Briscoe. What a hell of a guy. The greatest damn baby face in the whole goddamn country. Well, boy, I'm really getting fired up now. Yeah, I'm going to cut the cussing, but I'm going to keep on talking. I want to thank Larry Henning, who I had one of my first matches with. And he and Buddy Ray. We did a stamp in, 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 in Minnesota. I went ahead and worked with him and wrestled 20 minutes, and I thought I could work. I thought I knew what I was doing. I was... I, I swear to God, I wrestled two nights later and had the worst match of my life. It stunk. I didn't know that they were taking care of me and doing, doing wonderful things with me in the ring. And I want to thank uh, Dick Byers. Dick, you're a great person and a great individual. I'm not just mentioning people. I'm mentioning kick-ass people that can damn sure hold their tights up. And we want to talk about the all of this ultimate fighting and all this and everything else. Well, let me tell you something. These guys in their days would, I'll tell you what, they would, uh, they would be above the ultimate fighters and I'm not bullshitting you there. And I'm mentioning them right there. <laughs> Dick, you're damn sure up there too. And uh, Harley Race, love you, you'll be right up there too. Gordon Nelson, Mr. Wrestling in the Amarillo area. Beat the hell out of a lot of people through the years. <coughs> and uh, was just a tough guy. The Bashans, we know how tough that they were. Don Leo Jonathan. Uh, Killer Kowalski. That gum, you killer, you, you drive me nuts, but you're, you're a heck of a guy. I really like you. <laughs> I love you. And Ernie Ladd. Ernie, you're a super guy and a wonderful guy and always been a friend for life. And uh, one fella that I would like to have stand up that uh, in the last one, I uh, would really like to have Bob Geigel take a stand right back here. Right here. You don't know how close my family and his family was. And this guy's one of the really tough guys in the world I ever was. He's just a great amateur and a great athlete. And just as a kick-ass guy. And I'll tell you what, he's one of the strongest guys in the world. But my daddy, you know, he loved him. But he also, uh, well, I'll tell you a story. Bob, I'm going to tell you, it's a short story, and I'll get the heck off of it. But it's a real short story. Because my mama used to buy all of this real good sandwich meat. And things were pretty tough back then, and uh, a $25 payoff per night was a big payoff. My mom would buy that uh, dollar salami, and 
and that real good, maybe once in a while, a little pastrami and something else there. Bob Geigel would come out of the house and my mom would leave all of that stuff visible in the icebox. And Bob would go ahead and, and uh, grab a couple of pieces of bread and put about seven pieces of that damn uh, uh, pastrami on the sandwich and a couple of pieces of ham and everything else. And, 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 and I'll never forget this. This is the truth. Is, uh, Bob would go ahead and eat those sandwiches and whenever he'd leave, my dad would say, God damn, Dorothy, don't leave that sandwich meat out when Geigel's <laughs> And that's God's brought it through. And I'm in his own head, I'm getting my butt out of here. And Mike Mazurki was a wonderful, wonderful guy. And, and you know, Pepper Martin, I want to mention you. You know, uh, a lot of guys that were, uh, a lot of guys that have been through the business has come out there and been successful in California other than myself. And I, I really mean that. And, uh, more successful than I have. And uh, I love everybody and I love everybody in this room. I, I truthfully love this business with all of my heart. It's just, it's just the greatest thing and it's, it's a trip I'll, I'll never forget. And I never want to end it.